Hey everybody, welcome to Fit Tip Tuesday and welcome to Shirt Month. During Fit Tip Tuesdays in May, I'm going to be showing you a variety of different shirt fitting um, adjustments and I'm going to primarily focus on the sleeve to get going and then if I run out of things to do with the sleeve, I will sprinkle some other shirt things in at the end of the month because on Fridays during FabFit Friday, I'm going to be working on making a easy breezy summer button down shirt with a cap sleeve. So you'll be getting shirt information here during Fit Tip Tuesday and also over on Fridays during FabFit Friday Live. So I thought this would be kind of fun. I've made a lot of pants over the past few months and I'm finished with my Japanese cotton woven um, shorts and I really want to make a nice you know button down to go with it so that's what we're going to be working on and I'm just gonna tell you I'll be using my perfectly fitted shirt pattern on during FabFit Friday so if anyone would like to sew along with me I will put a link to this pattern um, in the description and just know you can get it in Mrs. Sizes and Women's Sizes from size 6 all the way up to size 24. So check out the, the size range and if you'd like to join me, see the description below for links to the pattern. So today what I'm going to do is kick off shirt month with looking at the sleeve cap and talking about adding ease versus or I'm sorry, adjusting ease versus adjusting the height of the sleeve cap. Now it's interesting because both of these things do the same thing. If you add or remove ease, you're lengthening or shortening the cap length that sews into the armhole. And if you're raising or lowering the cap height, you're also lengthening or shortening the edge of the sleeve that gets sewn into the armhole. So let's talk about, you know, when, when you would use each adjustment and I'm going to show you how to make these adjustments. So let's start with, um, okay. Let's start by looking at this sleeve. Now here's another fun thing. If you sign up for my newsletter, I am offering a free collection of mini pattern pieces, the same ones I use in my Fit Tip Tuesday videos to show you how to make pattern adjustments. That way, if you're watching, you can follow along with me and try these adjustments before you work on them in a full size pattern piece. So check the description below for the link to the sign up page for my newsletter um, because you will immediately get a welcome email with these pattern pieces included. So that's a fun thing. Now, if you're wondering, um, well, what about me? I already have your newsletter. Well, in the main newsletter, I sent those pattern pieces out to my existing um, members on my newsletter list. So everybody gets the mini pattern pieces for free. So, so I'm working with the sleeve that comes in this collection. So you can work with the exact same sleeve if you want to. Let's start by identifying what's happening here. Now on the bottom of the sleeve, I just cut it off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw in my wrist edge here. And I'm just gonna draw in a center line. And basically I'm just using five so two and a half I'm basically using the grid underneath my cutting board to mark the center of the sleeve and also let's mark the bicep line drawing these little guidelines in help you identify what's what so from the seam allowance at the top I'm just going to draw a seam allowance in here just to show you okay so from the seam allowance down to the bicep line so from here down to here, that's your cap height. All right, so let's talk about the sleeve cap first. I put a piece of white Velcro 
around my bicep line so I could show you where that is on your arm. And when you're looking to find it on your arm, you want to make sure you put, a, you know, cut a piece of elastic or something you can wrap around your arm and put it around your arm so that when your arm is down, it's right next to the top of your side seam underneath your armpit because that's the approximate position of your bicep line on your pattern. If we look at the pattern, we can see that the bicep line, which is right here, is right at the top of the underarm seam that gets sewn to the side seam. So my bicep is right here. The way you determine how long or high your cap needs to be is you measure from the tip of your shoulder down to your bicep line. Okay, so find that little area on your shoulder that you can feel the joint move and measure from there down to your bicep line. And that's going to be the length you need for your cap. Now you may need to add a little quarter inch or three eighths of an inch extra for ease, but basically that's the height of your cap. So once you know the measurement of your um from your shoulder to your bicep, you can compare it to your, your sleeve pattern. So let's say you measure, and remember, don't include your seam allowance. That's why I drew that in there. Let's say we measured um, five inches on the pattern. I'm just gonna put five inches here. But when we measured our actual shoulder to bicep, we got six inches. That means the cap is an inch too short and that's kind of a lot but I will tell you I've been getting questions from some of my followers who are working with other pattern company um, brand patterns and it has come up some of the time that one of the reasons why their their shirt sleeves aren't fitting properly is because the cap is significantly too short so if that is the case after measuring then what you're going to do is you're going to increase the cap. Now, if you measure yourself and you measure your cap and the cap on the sleeve is bigger, you're going to shorten it. So I'm gonna show you how to lengthen it. To shorten it, you're just going to do, instead of spreading the pattern, you're gonna overlap the pattern, but the steps are the same. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to draw myself a line right above the front and back notches, and I'll do that in red. We're gonna have a really colorful sample here. Okay, so that's where we're gonna make the adjustment. I'm gonna cut off the top of the cap like this. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread it. And, you know, I said, it, I said for this example, it was an inch different. I'm not going to spread it the entire inch. I'm going to, um, let's just spread it a half an inch because this is a small mini size pattern. But basically, I'm going to stick some paper in here and I'm going to tape it on. Okay, and then I'm going to measure up the amount that I need to add. So let's pretend this is an inch. I'm gonna draw a line across, and then I'm also going to extend my center line up as well. And then all I have to do is put the top of the cap back on. And the reason why I extended the line through the, um, the spread was so I could line up the center of the cap with the center of the sleeve to make sure I'm lining that back up properly. So then I'm just going to tape this in place. All right, so now you notice here, we have a little bit of a truing up issue on the edge of the cap from spreading it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So this is the way you would fix any sort of truing up issue when you're trying to connect the edge of the pattern below and above an adjustment. What you're going to do is you're going to find sort of the center of the difference 
and it's on an angle on a shirt. I mean, it's on an angle, you know, because it's a sleeve and it's on the diagonal, but basically we're going to add a little bit below the adjustment. And then as we come through, we're going to trim a slight amount off above the adjustment like this. So that's how you true up the pattern. And again, I'm going to find the middle. I'm going to add a little and I'm going to trim a little. Okay, so that's how you true it up after extending the cap. Now that's what you would do if you need to add more length here. Now what if you need more ease throughout your cap? Like let's say you check the cap against the armhole and you needed to um, make the cap, the edge of the cap longer or shorter, but the height was okay. That's a different adjustment. So I'm gonna show you that one as well. I'm gonna get a new sleeve. I'm also gonna take off my little, my little bicep band. So now let's say we know that the measurement from the top of the cap to the bicep line is in agreement with our body. We just need to make it longer. We're gonna add ease to the cap. And the way we're going to do that is I'm gonna draw myself a little guideline that goes from sort of the middle of the cap between the you know, the, where the underarm seam is and the center line is, I'm going to just come straight down and then I'm just going to draw myself a horizontal line right here. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just drawing two guidelines like this. Okay. And there's a bunch of different ways that you can add ease to the cap. This is, one way and it's a little bit different than ways I've shown in the past but basically our pivot is going to be right here and right here okay so what you're going to do is you're going to cut this little l-shaped guideline that I drew and you're going to create a pivot over at the underarm seam like this and you're simply going to pull that out to add ease to the cap and you're making the cap longer. This does nothing to adjust for the height of the cap. Now we're just adding to the width of it. And I'm just gonna stick a, a, a post-it note underneath there. This makes a really clear way to show. So I'm gonna just stick my paper under there, get it to line up with where I need it to show. And I'm just gonna do this. So let's say we needed to add a half an inch of ease, you would spread each size a each side a quarter and tape it into place like that. And then again, I'm going to go, whoops. I'm going to cut the other side and do the same thing. I'm making a pivot. And again, I'll stick this under here and then we can just spread it the amount we need Oops. like this. Okay. And you can see what we're doing is we're adding ease to the cap. So I'm just going to tape that into place and you're going to true it up the same way. You're going to kind of find the middle of the difference and you're just going to redraw it. This time I'm gonna skim some and add some. Skim, add, like that. We'll skim a little off here and we'll add a little bit here. Whoops, like that. You know, and of course, if you have um, a French curve, that can help you make a nice new line as well. Once you get it dashed in, you can just use the French curve to really finish up and make a nice new curve. All right, so now we've added ease to the cap. So is there a time where we might need to do both? The answer to that is yes. Let's say, for example, 
you needed to add height to the cap to get it high enough to fit your your body but after adding the height to the cap you ended up with too much ease because the sleeve already fit it just it was just that the cap was not high enough well the cool thing is you can do this adjustment where we added ease in reverse to get rid of the extra ease you don't need in the cap so i'm going to show you on this one that i already did um, adjust the height of the cap i'm going to show you how to then do this same adjustment i'll do this in red where you find sort of the middle draw yourself a little guideline here and then i'm also gonna do one on this side and again i'm just going to make them equal here okay so in this case let's go ahead and cut through here oops this was not attached let me just tape that back sorry this is why you always have to tape it like you mean it so you don't lose any pieces All right, so see in this case, all you're gonna have to do here is slide, oh no, I'm sorry, I taped that together wrong. This needs to be over here, sorry. Okay, so now all we have to do is decide how much ease we have to reduce the length of the cap by after we extended the height of the cap so let's say we need to back it down a half an inch because it was just too much ease after we raise the height of the cap. So what I can do here is, is I can draw myself a little guide that's, you know, a quarter inch away, right? And I'll do it over here too, quarter inch, quarter inch. Then what you do is you take this and you literally just slide it in like that. And that's getting rid of the ease. And you, do, you would do the same thing on the opposite side of the sleeve. And again, you would find the middle of the difference, trim a little, add a little here, trim a little there to fix the edge of the cap like that. So there is your final cap. And then let me just do it on the other side to show you one more time. Slash through. Create a pivot at the underarm seam and just overlap that the amount you need. All right, so now we have kind of have a Frankenstein sleeve pattern, but basically you can see that we've increased the height and we've gotten rid of a little bit of the ease that we didn't need after we lengthen the height of the cap. So there would be our final cap shape drawn in red. I'm just gonna draw it in red so you can really see the entire finished sleeve here. So we've got this. So there's our final sleeve. After raising the cap to agree with our shape, but then also reducing the ease by slashing and overlapping just a little bit to take off some of the extra length we added um, from raising the cap. So that's how you can adjust the length of your cap for either ease or cap height. Two different things. And remember, always check the length between the, the ball of your shoulder up at the top where the seam would be to your bicep line to determine if the cap is the right height first. Do that first and then check the ease on the sleeve itself to see if you have enough or if you need more or if you need less. And then you could make this simple adjustment to adjust the ease on the cap to make it more or less to fit into your armhole. 
Next week, we are going to look at the relationship between the armhole and the cap. I'm going to show you how to walk a sleeve to double check it. Anytime you make adjustments, you do want to walk your sleeve. So next week, I'll be showing you how to walk your sleeve and how to adjust the armhole if that's what needs to be adjusted to fit you properly. So I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Shirt Month in May. And join me on Friday for FabFit Friday. And we are going to pick sizes and start prepping pattern pieces to make a easy breezy summer button down shirt with a little cap sleeve. All right. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to sign up for my newsletter to get the free PDF with the mini pattern pieces. So you can follow along with me if you'd like to and um, have a nice rest of your day.